After many visits with her public defenders, Adriana Lytle says she is now ready to re accept responsibility for her actions. She is expected to plead guilty as charged, but prosecutors are still pushing for a very tough sentence. Say Merry Christmas. My ticket. This home video was taken just three months before Summer Phelps died in a Spokane hospital. Police accused Summer's father and stepmother of using torture to discipline the child, and between the beatings and near drownings in their downtown apartment, Summer's young body finally gave out. Now Adriana Lytle is ready to be punished for her role in Summer's death. She uh, acts like she uh, uh, is remorseful for what happened. She has a uh, a desire to uh, uh, set the record straight to some extent. Uh, uh, she wasn't the only one involved, but she certainly uh, is, is, is going to uh, uh, take responsibility for her actions in this uh, particular case. Adriana faces a minimum of 20 years in prison, but prosecutors are seeking an exceptional sentence. The state hopes to prove aggravating factors, including the victim's vulnerability, that the adults violated a position of trust, and that Summer's death involved extreme cruelty. However, defense attorneys hope to show that Adriana was abused as a child herself. We will be uh, presenting evidence that will show that, that Adriana was abused to a great degree while she was growing up and therefore had no parenting skills herself and got involved with someone who was not a nice guy either. And Ms. Nordvet is talking about Jonathan Lytle, Adriana's husband. He is scheduled to stand trial October, but right now trying to mount a not guilty by reason of insanity defense. We'll show you what attorneys had to say about corporal punishment in this case. That story is coming up tonight only on KXLY4 at 6.